And one of the things I, I want to say this uh, about the interview yesterday with Ridley, and I didn't. Um, so I I did uh, I think early on reject the lab leak uh, uh, process. Certainly rejected the idea last year of uh, the virus being manufactured uh, and this being a bioweapon based on what I had read from scientists about it. Uh, it turns out I was wrong. It turns out those scientists were wrong uh, on both counts, both on the count of, a, of the lab leak. The lab leak is, is I, I don't know how likely, I wouldn't put a probability on it, but it's certainly not a nutty proposal. It's, it's given the number of lab leaks we have in the US of actual SARS viruses, it's, it's, I think, a high likelihood that this was a lab leak or at least over 50% or somewhere in that region. Um, but even the manufactured part is not at this point completely crazy. Once you actually read the extent to which scientists have been involved in gain of function research, which means manipulating viruses to be more infectious so we understand them so then we can try to figure out how to combat them. And once you understand this, as, as Matt described the structure of this particular virus, and I, I forget the name of this thing that there is being attached there that allows it to be in contagious as it is, um, I don't think it's likely that it was um, manufactured, not, not the whole virus, but that section of the virus that was played <laughs> with. But I think there is a positive probability. I don't think it's nuts <laughs> to think that it was uh, done away with. But the, the, the nice thing about what Matt has done is compared to what people last, uh, you know, who came out and, and made these arguments last year, is it's a whole book, you know, uh, filled with both sides, um, not taking a definitive stand in the end. He's, he's tilting in a particular direction, tons of evidence, uh, trying to make the best case for all different scenarios. Uh, it, it, it strikes me, and maybe I'm wrong, but it strikes me as a, a very objective analysis of the material, not what I usually see from the conspiracy theory uh, people. Very not political. Um, and, and you saw, if you saw the interview yesterday, uh, Matt stayed away from politics. He wouldn't comment on, on Fauci and, and Rand Paul because of that. And I, I respect him for that. Um, but um, it's, um, you know, if you're going to make, uh, uh, you know, what is it? If you're going to make extreme claims, if you're going to make uh, uh, big claims, you better have big evidence, right? You better have substantial evidence. And I think what Matt and Al Alina have done here is they've done that. They've, they've assembled evidence uh, mm -hmm. for this. And, uh, and that is, um, uh, you know, on that, that is uh, pretty amazing. Uh, Scott says, you have to take a stand. No, I don't. I mean, that's silly. Um, it's 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 uh, most of these kind of issues are probabilistic. Uh, it's not you don't have certainty. It's it's absurd. Uh, Matt, who's done all this research, Alina, who is an expert in this field, who've done all the research, both of them uh, in the sciences, don't have a definitive answer. It is absurd to think that on complex issues, you should have 100% uh, certainty about these things. Uh, that is uh, truly, uh, truly absurd. Or that right. one has to take a stand. I mean, too many people take too many stands on too many complex issues that they yes. don't really have enough information to take a stand on. And I think a lot of that's because of this attitude that this is something important going on. I have to have a position on it. But well, if you don't my, have the knowledge, you know, I mean, you got to do your best to, to, to come down somewhere or another, but don't present it as this is what it is if you don't know. Yeah, and my, my all my allies believe X, so I probably should believe X to. Right, right. Could be and that. I'll fight for X to the death, not because I have any firm set knowledge of it, but because all my friends believe X. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.